I'm Marianne Miller with the Institute for Global Transformation. And today I'd like to welcome Dr. Hassan Rashidi. Dr. Rashidi is Director of our Science and Engineering Department. Dr. Rashidi, how do you see the impact of technology on improving the quality of our lives? Yeah, technology has been improving human life for thousands of years. But the impact of technology uh, on human and society in the last few hundred years is remarkable. Uh, it started with mechanization and using uh, water power and steam power. Uh, then we developed mass production and using uh, assembly lines. Then the progress continued with uh, automation and using functionalized machines such as robots. And now we are living in the most exciting time ever where emerging and advanced technologies such as nanotechnology, additive manufacturing known as 3D printing, biotechnology, neurotechnology, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning are dramatically uh, adding value to human and society. Nanotechnology that is engineering at nanoscale uh, is enabling us to have tiniest and most advanced sensors and actuators in everything to monitor important parameters and make relevant adjustments. For example, we have handhold medical devices that monitor our vital signs, such as temperature and heartbeat. Human organs are modeled on micro and nano devices uh, to study our bodies at molecular level uh, for prevention, uh, diagnosis, and treatment of disease at uh, such a precise level. Nanotechnology and uh, genome sequencing uh, will allow us to understand the root causes of diseases such as cancer and heart uh, problems. Advanced manufacturing technologies such as additive manufacturing or 3D printing are used to manufacture uh, customized medical models, implants, prosthetics, organs, and medications. We will be using bioprinting and uh, uh, stem cells to regrow organs uh, such as kidney, liver, heart, and skin. Artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, are used to compare patient symptoms and test results with uh, scientific literatures and clinical trials worldwide in order to um, provide suggestions for effective and efficient uh, diagnosis and treatment. Robots uh, can perform uh, autonomous surgical uh, operations at a very low cost. Uh, uh, robotic surgery is going to change uh, the way that surgery is practiced today. Uh, most of the surgeries will be performed precisely by intelligent robots. These advances allow people to have access to the best uh, preventive uh, diagnostic and treatment technologies. And all of these are going to dramatically change medicine and the way that medicine is uh, practiced today. People will take control of their health. In fact, medicine is going to be more and more uh, engineering and technology oriented and this approach will provide us with uh, precision medicine and uh, personalized medicine and this will help us to uh, have a longer and healthier life at a very low cost. That's fascinating. Yeah. You know I really would love to hear much more about each of these topics that you've touched upon today. In fact, let's plan to discuss these topics again in future videos and get more in depth with each of these topics. Yeah, sure. Well, we thank you so much for being with us today, Dr. Rashidi, and we look forward to you joining us again at a future time to discuss the future of engineering and technology in the medical field. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.